unusually for Scotland yesterday we had a bit of rain so we decided to postpone our game here at Creef Golf Club till this morning which is guaranteed to be 25 degrees today but right now it's a bit of a fog no, once the sun gets it up to its full strength, it just burns it off. Yeah, so okay. it's quite common for this time of year, to be honest. I'm sure the golf club would like the uh, sun to be shining for me to show this golf course off but I've got to admit I think it looks absolutely gorgeous in this uh, now the fog has lifted at least we can see where we're going a bit this par 3 um, what is it fourth hole um, you can see hopefully just a flag on the horizon fog in the backdrop them lovely tall trees play a bit more colour I would imagine up the hill but it's a lovely opening stretch of holes down the right you get kick off there I don't know we're up there somewhere anyway but a lovely start to the morning Ooh. they're pacey pacey and really true as well it was a nervy one you might lose one today, you can't see where well, it's going. I, uh, that's a so, possibility. <clears throat> we've arrived here to film, I'm told it's lovely, but I mean I can't see none of it, so no, it, no, it, it, it's, it's, very it's, it's beautiful. Have, Is you it? It? Have you been at yeah. Pitlockery yet? You no, you're well, going. I'm a bit luckier this afternoon. Yeah. This afternoon. Yeah. Let's hope the fog lifts by then. Oh. So, is this something you normally see at uh, Creef? Very, fog? very rarely. Is yeah. it really? Yeah. I mean, if at the first hole, if it's if they can't see the first green, you're not allowed to tee off. Yeah, yeah. But, oh, it's lovely. So, so it's just come specially for us then this morning. More or less, yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's a great atmosphere, but in terms of the kind of what we're looking at, but it would be nice to see a bit more of it. Oh, Hopefully, it should clear. Once, once you get up to the top of the course, yeah. yes. you get a view right across to the local right oh, valley. Oh, oh, and, yeah. and it's beautiful. Lovely. Yeah, it really is. Let's That's hope by the gorgeous. time we get there, then it's, yeah, uh, it's lifted a bit. <laughs> well, you might get a view across the top of the fog. Just the top. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Thanks. Okay. Enjoy the rest of your game. You're anyway. Welcome. Bad. it's got worse I mean it's supposed to be lifting it's gotten worse it's dropped again there is a flag believe it or not and I reckon I can't I've got the view find out but I come about 70 yards away and I can't see it it's just so disappointing we literally got up 6 a.m. this morning to get this filmed early and uh, well that's the challenge you face with good for yardage control though trust, trust, trust your swing But you know, I'm, I'm better playing in the fog. Right, while we wait for this fog to lift, I think we should go to the Scotland's oldest working distillery, the Glen Turret, and we'll do some whiskey tasting instead.
by that stage, there's still a bit of sugar left, but there's not massive amounts of sugar in this pan. You've got to heat the water in this massive room or the thumb room if you like. So your liquid that you've been collecting is coming through the red pipe system, the yeah. water entry, and you've got a series of eight purpose first wash bags. Now they're about three meters in depth. So imagine what so you see above the floor, 50% more of that. This magnificent version here, and it's been here since 1976. Yeah. Um, it's completely hand hand in copper. Okay, the distillery, the oldest distillery in Scotland. Since some of the staff were first employed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Doing well. Yeah. Uh, the, like does something yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. well, the cat lived until she was 24. Well, so, there you go. Straight away, vanilla, soft, quite a bit of sweetness, maybe honey you pick up. You might think yeah. that you're drinking something that's 43% alcohol and it's roughly it's like 25 to 30 mils, but my pouring skills are not always the best. That's delicious. Smooth, but oh, quite soft, but not it? delicate. Delicate, no, all that kind of thing. Not, not, uh, yeah. It's not hard. Uh, there's a thing on my mind. That's exactly what I would say. Not it's hard. easy. So, oh, yeah. triple wood is something that I would say to people. So, you get it all the time, you'll tell yourself, oh, I don't drink whiskey. Uh, well, don't generalise, just give it a try. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, yeah. So welcome back to Creef part two, where the sun came out. We didn't have to wait too long. That's just a bit too far down the left. Get down. Oh, tree iron. Yeah, well, at least we can see a bit of Creef now. I've got to admit that uh, I almost said, even during the uh, the foggy elements of this video, that how good this course was. But then I knew you'd say, well, and how can you possibly say that? Because we can't see any of it. But it's in tremendous condition. Now the fog has lifted and we can see it, I'll show you that in a bit more detail. Right, we've just gone to 14th and uh, yet again and it's all I seem to be talking about on this uh, mini series in Perth here is the views and um, we're stuck up high and uh, it's a, a stunning position stunning in terms of location look at that a bit different from what we were looking at this morning um, when that fog was down but the last stretch of holes 11 12 13 now into 14 as well a, a great run of golf holes gets a little bit tighter on this stretch and this is uh, this is fairly tight, come to think of it. Oh, golf shot and into that backdrop. Makes it even more scenic when my ball's going down the middle. Right, well arguably 14, you wanna be uh, quite high right. There's a big camber and uh, I was happy with the drive. I've come quite a way bit lower than the ideal position, I think, maybe. Anyway, 94 in. I can't see, that's right into the sun. Oh, sit. I should be good. I lost that one right into the sunshine. What a great thing to say. Right. I don't know where the pitch mark is. That was pretty decent. But we've run through a little bit. 
I did say on the tee this was a great golf hole and uh, looking back again just a, it is a superb par four shape and uh, condition of the fairways and the, the patterning that you've probably seen from the drone footage again and definition looks absolutely pristine Nah, just dribbled away and dribbled away a little bit further I see dribbled away I thought I had that dead one thing I was going to mention I better see if I can just make four yeah thank god for that well one thing I was going to mention was just how good the greens are and if I'm honest I've struggled with the pace a little bit I've raced more puts by than uh, I've got in terms of uh, as opposed to dead weight but they're not only really good in terms of the pace but um, they're incredibly true as well it's in great condition Well, for those of you who like a few scenic shots, then uh, take a look at this for a lock that we filmed that uh, yesterday. Again, absolutely stunning. It blows you away, this kind of scenery. And uh, everywhere you look in Persia, it's full of it. Not just on the golf courses, around and about as well. And Creef itself, uh, I haven't been in there a great deal, but it looks a, a nice little sort of town centre. And uh, there's a great fish and chip shop in there as well. Right, pit lockery, here we come. 